so thanks for checking this out so in this video we're going to be talking about how to rig a tube weedless with a jig head that has a weed guard so you're going to be making a tube jig that ha that uses this weedless weed guard kind of like a bass jig and that's going to let you skip easier you're going to be able to skip with lighter jig heads and you're going to be able to fish a tube very weedless and you're not going to worry about whenever you set the hook that tube bunching up on your hook shaft if, if you were rigging it normally like texas rigged whenever you go to set the hook the tube will ball up on the shank of the hook and you won't get those fish so doing this this will give you a hookup ratio about like a jig it'll just be a little bit different presentation so let's get into it first things first you have to have your jig heads I guess if you were fancy, you could pour your own and add your own weed guards, but I'm just using the Death Grip Jig Heads. They make quarter ounce jig head, and theirs is cool because it's got this, let's see, let me back it up so I can get a better focus. It's a collared keeper on there, and it allows you to put extra plastics on there as trailers, and we're gonna get into that a little bit later, but this is the jig head I'm using. And the tube is going to be a Z-Man Easy Tube. This is their green pumpkinish color. I like the Z-Man because it's really stretchy and it can take a lot of abuse from uh, how we're going to have to do this. We are going to turn our tube inside out. All right, we've turned our tube inside out a little bit so we can get our weed guard in there, but we still want to be able to access this head. The weed guard is going to come out somewhere in here. I'm going to skip to the next step where I've completed this already and then we're going to pull the tube over the jig. All right, where I'm at now, I've got the jig head started uh, through the weed guard there. Now I'm just going to pull the head portion inside and get everything fitted. A little bit odd doing it on camera but let's see how it goes so we have our that's our deal right there and you can see up front we have our line tie and the hooks coming out the back we've got our weed guard so we're not gonna get hung up. We can toss this into the nastiest cover. And what's cool about this, so you can either fish it like a standard tube or you can do what I'm probably going to do the most and pair it up with different trailers. So I'm gonna show it with two or three different trailers and then I'm gonna show a few fish catches with this. All right, so this is going to be the standard TRD in the deal color, 2.75 inches. Now I'm going to cut to how it looks rigged on this tube. All right, that's going to be your finished product with the TRD. And if you do this, just remember if you use a Z-Man tube, because they're stretchy and tougher than normal tubes, you have to use z-man plastic because standard worms will melt when you use them with that elastic z-man stuff um, it's going to be a different look than a tube or it's going to be a different look than a standard trd so if you've got any fish that are used to seeing jigs or trds This next plastic is called the Baby Goat. 
it's just a little kicker tail here. We're gonna put it on there and use it as a swim jig. All right, it's a close up of how this would look. All right, now I know that it looks kind of weird with this trailer on here. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what I'm calling this rig. I haven't seen anybody else doing it, so I'm gonna go ahead and make up a name. So if you know bass fishing, you know everything's a rig. But let's go ahead and cut over to the fish catch with this. This thing skips amazing and it has a good kicking action like a swim jig. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. So, death grip jig heads, bass jig, easy tubes, and whatever Z-Man trailer you want to try with it. I only tried a couple, one for dragging and one for swimming, but they both seem to work. Now, what am I calling this rig? I am calling this the Peter Johnson rig. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so.